Uh, and then I found the underground <laughs> MMA.tv or whatever the fuck it was called back then. Mm-hmm. This is after Moussel's. It wasn't Moussel's then. It was something else. It was like sub fighting, sub fighter. Something. I, yeah, that. something. So I was on there and like I, I would read most of the time. That's how I would find out about tournaments. Because they would have it right there. There's a block and they have like the itinerary for like the month, what year, whatever. So I would go, and I'd read the, read the UG. And I was on the UG and I would occasionally put something up and this chick got on there and she was talking about, she's like whining and crying about not having any girls to train with. So um, like I put something up on there to kind of counter the sentiment because I didn't want other women looking at that and being just like, oh, well, I guess I need women to train with it. So I put something up about, you know what? It makes you stronger and better and more technical to train with men. You know, whatever. I put my two cents in. Oh, she didn't like that. So we started to get into it. This is Shelby. Nice. So, so she was kind of being mean to you. Well, yeah. I, I was at, she was I, a classic mean girl. She really was. God rest her. She was a mean girl. She really was. She was a she was a pretty girl. She was a stripper. She always hair, nails, makeup, you know, all the nine and everything. She was a pretty girl, but she was mean. She was just mean as fuck. And me, I'm a fucking farm kid. Like as you can see, like I'm I don't do all like <laughs> I'm not pretty pretty princess. Never have been. So she would tell me shit like she would send me like not emails. What was it? But oh, AOL. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is back during the AOL days. So I was still on AOL. She would send me these messages on AOL about how nobody wants to watch me fight and how I'm ugly and I don't deserve <laughs> to be on any shows and nobody's going to pay to watch me fight and i'm not worthy of being on the show and i suck and na 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 like all the stuff like she, this is the shit she was sending me in private okay <laughs> so i'm like huh all right cool i got you so when i guess i guess when i i i don't remember how i first got up with with hook and shoot with jeff like i must have well, he was setting he was setting up he was setting up revolution and you know yeah. that was an yeah. easy match for him to set up I think because- But this is this is kind of like before that though because like he gave me a ticket to UFC 35. Uh, he asked me to sum up that match and I I that that was what it was. She got under your skin because she wouldn't train with men and you you just didn't think that she was really a legit fighter and no. On top of that came the, you know, she had eight by elevens that she would sell and that sort of stuff like that, which again yeah. is just not your style at all. So this was like oil and water completely. I was the exact opposite. I was the homegrown kid that you know I'm from the gym next door. Like I came in there, I was sweaty and nasty, and then I'd have to drive an hour and a half home and like. You know, like our, the roof leaked in our gym and it stunk. And it was just like, <laughs> like I came from like a, a real like hole in the wall gym. Like we, we weren't so, nothing so, fancy. So Miguel, any podcast that asks you to sum up this rivalry, is probably <laughs> something you should listen to because that is a, that is a deep, deep question for only the most knowledgeable people. So you get, you get to Evansville. Did you drive or fly there? Blue. Flew. I think he flew us in. The women's show, he went, he, he kind of went all out with it. Or at least that's what he yeah, said. The first women's show was incredible, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What he, was the year of it? He, he, it was April 13th. It, 2002. 2002. Yeah. Guys, guys, yeah. There, there was already 99, 2000, 2001 Abu Dhabi tapes that we were using as income as well. So, yeah, we, we probably were playing for playing yeah. tickets by that. 